Hello, hello, hello. Well, in my um, search, and it's not really much of a search because I know where most of them are, but in my quest to find more pets, I found another Commodore relic today. This is an 8023P. Oh, hello, Sheldon. How did you know I was recording? Sheldon. No, Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Sheldon, if you want to do something, come on up here. Come on up here. Sheldon, come here. How did you know? Oh, did you know? Sheldon, here. Sheldon, here. Sheldon, come on over here. Let's talk to the feet. Look. That's a printer. Yes, it is. That's a printer. We're just talking about the printer. Yes. That's an old Commodore printer, Sheldon. How did you know I was recording? How did you know? Okay. So, Sheldon, down, down. Down, down. Wanna go out? There you go. Let's go. Go find Penny. Go find Penny. Oh, no. Go find Penny. Sheldon, come on. There. You gotta go find Penny. Go find Penny. Where's Penny? Where's Penny? No, no. Okay, Sheldon. I gotta keep talking about the printer. Okay, so. Down you go. I'll help you. I'll help you. I know it's a high one. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So. Here is an 8023P. Yes, and here is a cat. No, don't knock the tripod, Sheldon. Okay, so what this was is, of course, a printer. And, oh, excuse me. And, oh, look, it even has a ribbon. And it's a, it's a tractor printer, and it was made to do 80 column as well as I think it was like 132 column printing. And you could make that happen by adjusting these things. If I could just remember where. Oh, there it is. There, you can move that to varying lengths. It could be less, it could be like for labels. It could be way out here for big wide paper. It could. So, um, it was a dot matrix printer and it was pretty fast and pretty impressive. And uh, I don't know actually who made it, but of course it says it's by Commodore. If we look, there, we can move the paper, the on-off switch, which is handy. There is something here on the back, and this is why I have not yet been able to test this printer, because the cord is not removable, but it's been cut off. So, uh, now somewhere in the basement I know I have another one of these. Um, but I can, if I really felt like it, and I may, take a knife and such and cut this open and attach a very short, sorry, attach onto a very short cord there and see what's what. I mean, it looks like it's all there. It even has a ribbon in it. Here is the IEEE connector. So you can daisy chain it up with your 4040 or your 8050. And here's the other side, which is rather non descript This printer, it's mostly supposed to be white. This one has a, it looks a little yellow. And it has some, you know, dirt of the ages on it. But I will, of course, go to it 
at some point with a magic eraser, which is made by, yes, Mr. Clean. And it, it will bring it back as much as it can possibly be brought back. Um, anyway, this was sort of a workhorse printer, mostly used on the PET. Um, but, of course, if you had a 64 with a bus card or a C-Link or any, some other IEEE arrangement, you could make use of it. And it was fast, and it had a pretty good character set. It was not letter quality, because it was dot matrix. Um, but it was used by lots of people to pump out lots of stuff. And why this one got its cord snipped, I don't know. I just don't know. So this is uh yes, many stickers. Lots of stickers. Uses 0.8 amps at 60 hertz. Made in Japan. Cool. Anyway, so once again, 8023 tractor printer, that meant it did not have a friction feed at all. It, if you put something in, it had to have uh, tractor paper or tractor labels or, you know, something that could be driven by the tractor feed. So, this is not a pet, but it goes with one. But just, just as a hint of what's coming, I was tidying up downstairs in the front hall, and so far, and I think I found them all, there are six different pets. I think mostly large screen things, some maybe super pet things. They may not all have, you know, like everything in them, but uh, six, I think. I think that's all that's there. But this was also there, and I thought I would bring it up, because, uh, you know what, I'm not that crazy about printers. I mean, I don't do all that much printing. Um, but these were really good. So there, the Commodore. Yeah, didn't quite go. Spinning the big wheel on the wheel of... No, no, it's that show. The price is right. Let's see if we can do this. Almost. 8023P. Made by somebody for Commodore with an IEEE interface. Um, we'll have to see if this one actually works when I get to doing the experiments with the power cord. Alright, one last spin. Uh, yeah. yeah, see? There. Power cord. Missing. Alright. Enough. Thank you for coming. Stay tuned. More pet talk to come. Bye for now.